What's up everybody, this is Aid. I got my Sublime shirt on, and I'm ready to review an EP by Osno1, or Laura Less, however you want to say it. I thought since, you know, October is coming up pretty soon, I haven't really made that many spooky videos due to October coming around. I decided I might as well review a, a pretty spooky EP. I'm just going to put this on because why not? Um, I thought I'd review a pretty spooky EP, a pretty spook spooky piece of music by an artist that I love, who is Laura Less, to be exact. And this EP came out in 2016. Also, here's the album, or here's the EP cover. EP, just, just so you know, stands for Extended Play, which is not an LP, which is a long play. LP just means album. But EP is like an album, but it's like too short to be considered an album, so it's not. But the point is that <clears throat> this EP, I'm still a little sick. I know the last two videos I said that I was sick and that my next videos are going to be better, but I'm still a little sick. Just like a little bit. I don't have COVID. I, I got COVID tested earlier. And I don't have strep throat. But my throat's irritated. And it's a little bit red back there according to the doctors. So that's cool. Anyways. Um, this EP came out in about 2016. Uh, by Laura Less. It was I think her third EP at the time. Uh, after This Time Makes Me Sick Sometimes. And Better Get Sharper Better Change Your Name. I believe the name is of that EP. I've, I've only listened to it like once. That's probably like the piece of Laura Less music I've listened to the least. But we're focusing on Hello Kitty Skates to the Fucking Cemetery, which is the name of this EP. And uh, here's the album cover, or the EP cover, goddammit. Here's the EP cover, and it's it's uh, it's uh, inspired by the album cover of Death Grips the Money Store. And I've never actually listened to, listened to Death Grips, so I think I might in the future. Because I, I've apparently Death Grips the Money Store was rated at a 10 out of 10 by Anthony Fantano. And I don't want to be that guy who brings up Anthony Fantano to defend his musical taste. But he gave Death Grips to the Money Store 10 out of 10, so it has to be good. Okay, that's all I'm saying. And, uh, apparently, uh, and just to say something about Death Grips that I just wanted to mention real quick, is that one of their album covers was a penis. Um, so that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll check that one out eventually. But the censored album cover is just a, a black bar. Because, you know, they can't show a penis. Anyways, getting back to Laura Less. Sorry, I'm sidetracking a lot. There's five tracks in this EP. First one being uh, The Chabadi and the Laundry, which is... I'm going to go through each of these, and I'm just going to give you my opinion on them, and I'll, at the end, I'll give you my final rating. Uh, the Ditch of Body and the Laundry is uh, probably the best song in the entire thing. Probably the only song that like I would listen to by itself. The rest, I wouldn't, unless I'm like listening to the entire thing like I did just before making this video. The Chibani and Laundry is a really good song. It, it also features Dylan Brady. So th this is pretty much just 100 Gex. But it's called Osno 1 featuring Dylan Brady. And then, uh, yeah, Dylan Brady comes in. He delivers some s sick uh, verses. And then Laura Les comes back in with the chorus. And it's great. And honestly, for this 15-minute EP, there's a lot of motifs. Uh, uh, most notably with the guitar. And uh, the ambient vibe that the entire project gives. Second one is uh, Gone With The Knife, Given All Wrong, which is uh, the, the the lyrics are literally just Gone With The Knife, Given All Wrong. None of the other tracks feature Dylan Brady, so the rest is just Laura Less, or Osno One, however you want to say it. And pretty much, Gone With The Knife, Given All Wrong is just those words repeated over and over again in a really good, melodic way. It's probably the second best song, and it's the only... It's the only uh, Dutch Body Laundry and Gone With The Knife, Given All Wrong are the only songs in the entire EP that feature lyrics, the next three do not. The next one is, the the third track is, uh, I'm trying to remember the name, uh, god damn it, let me see. The third track's called, uh, Nothing Much, Just Hanging Out, and it's probably, it, it's the second longest besides the Gone With The Night Given All Wrong, and it's just ambient noises and weird sounds, but with the guitar, so it doesn't lose its beat, uh, for the most part. And it sounds rather nice. It, it's really chill and ambient, and it's also pretty sad. But I like it. I I, I like it. Not as I like. I wouldn't actually listen to it, but it sounds very nice. The fourth song, which is called Cemetery Four, is the most like bashful, crazy song. Uh, it kind of starts off like building up, and then it gets kind of crazy towards the end of the song. And then the last song is called. Let me see here. The last song is called There Are a Lot of Things Wrong, but I don't hate the world, but only myself, maybe. So, that one is just like a guitar for like a minute. It's the shortest track in the entire thing. And it I think it nicely ends the entire EP on a nice note. And overall, 
this is a very good spicy Amita ball. Um, this is obviously not going to be as long as some of my other reviews on musical projects because this is just an EP, it's 25 tracks. It's only 15 minutes long, but I really like it. And, you know, I thought I'd review something spooky. I also got a spooky vibe with the red light, because why not? Anyways, what do I give it? Uh, as a final review, I'm going to give it... I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten. It's really good, but I don't, I don't, I, I don't listen to it like actively. But whenever I do listen to it, I, I think it's pretty good. I don't listen to it that often, but whenever I do, it's pretty good. I definitely recommend you check it out because I think it's something that everybody should check out. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video. And goodbye. Also, tomorrow is my 450th video, as well as my two-year anniversary of my first video on YouTube. So I'll see you then.